Phones burnt make it quick. Uh, I'm like your one friend, Aiden. You should be nicer to me. Great. I'm hanging up now. It's a job, jackass. Fix your gig. I can't take it. Travel restrictions. <sighs> I told you I'm not doing that hired gun work anymore. Oh, come on. It's corporate espionage. Scumbags screwing scumbags. No bystanders. Huge payday. Mm-hmm. What's the catch? It's in London, which is not the easiest place to get to these days. London. It's where Jackson lives. Yeah. Why do you think I called you, asshole? Okay, I gotta go. Ah, shit. It's Aiden's phone again. All right, asshole. I've tracked your location. This is your final warning. Blah, blah, blah. Bottom line. Let Aiden Pierce go, or I'm gonna send a bunch of people your way to cut you into tiny little pieces and deliver them to me gift-wrapped. Capiche? Jesus, dude, listen, I'm, I'm not holding Aiden hostage. I'm helping. Jackson, back me up. What the fuck? You're with Jackson. I thought you were one of Rempart's hired mooks. Hold on, hold on. You got a private channel or something? I gotta get off this burner. One sec. Sure thing, I'll get I guess. Mm, no, no, no. What I mean... Right. All right, I'm back. And I've got some burning questions. So one, who the fuck are you? And two, what happened to Aiden? Well, I'm Wrench, and Aiden is... in a coma. A fucking coma? How the hell did that happen? I kind of, uh, half blew him up. Shit. Now I've got a problem here, Ratchet. It's Wrench. I have a fixer contract that needs doing, but my best guy is out. Indefinitely. I thought Rempart was responsible, but now I'm finding out it's you. Uh, partially responsible? <laughs> Please don't chop me into little pieces. Okay, Ratchet. I need you to wipe some data from Rempart facilities. Can you handle that? Got it. Go to Nexus Tower and steal their prototype combat drone. Not what I said, but, uh, sure. Let's see where this goes. So, once I get my drone, what exactly am I wiping from Rembrandt's facilities again? Every trace of the Broken Tech deal. Scorched Earth were the exact words the clan used. Scorched Earth? <laughs> I love Scorched Earth! Why didn't you lead with that? I don't think they meant it literally, but... Eh, that was their mistake. Go nuts. <laughs> Why, hello there, you hot piece of drone. <laughs> you, uh, want to get out of here? I know a nice little spot where we can park and, uh, you know, talk and stuff. <laughs> Don't tell your dad. <laughs> Weird, man. Uh, but who am I to judge? Let's do this. We are keeping you safe. All right, let's scorch some earth. Where am I going, Jordy? Marking it for you now. So, this client wants to wipe out every trace of Broca Tech from Rampart's facilities, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Which means they know about Aiden's contract, which means they're probably the same client who hired him, right? Oh, so there's a brain behind the paintball mask. Ah, interesting. Is it Sky Larson? She runs Broca Tech, so that much makes sense. Look. The Fixers wouldn't be a very discreet criminal organization if we went around blabbing who hired us to do their illegal shit. I can't tell you. So you do know? Yeah, but same answer. It's called professionalism, Ratchet. All right, that's the first location there. I'll tag everything you need to take out. <laughs>
really hate that prick, huh? Mine does seem to have that effect on people. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot this was on. It's all good. Vent away. Marking the next thing. All right, that's the second location there. Tagging all the targets. Light them up. With pleasure. So, if the client's not Sky Larson, is it Albion? Like, maybe they're trying to clear Rampart out of London so they can take over all this shit? Uh, getting colder. But you know, that's actually a good idea. I should have tried to work that angle as a side thing. Eh, <sighs> eh, next time. making a bigger deal about all the wanton destruction than I thought they would. Like, they're refusing to pay, threatening to expose us. And obviously, we can't have that. Is this a problem we can fix by blowing up more stuff? Actually, I need you to clone a copy of the Rempart HQ server onto that drone for me to use as leverage. But I'd be surprised if you didn't blow up a few things in the process. Okay, I'd say that's in my wheelhouse. All right, I'm cloning the server now. You know, the client sure found out about our little rampage pretty quickly. They did, didn't they? And if you were still interested in who they are, that's what I would call a clue. when I guess the client was Rampart. Hotter or colder? Hotter, actually. Way hotter. Really? How did that work? I'll tell you what. Finish that download. These guys are still being a pain in my ass. I might find myself in a forthcoming mood. One sec, they're calling me again. There. That should remind these idiots not to fuck with the contract after the fact. You still want to know who they are? I feel like that's fair game at this point. Now you're just gonna tell me? Just like that? Call it an investment in our ongoing business relationship. The client is Rempart's board of directors, specifically the chairman, Louis Edmund Rempart, Thomas Rempart's father. Come on, really? Why would he screw over his own son like that? Because none of what Tommy is up to in London is sanctioned. The board hired Aiden to find out what he was doing, and now they wish they hadn't. His shenanigans have put the whole conglomerate in jeopardy, so now they just want to wipe the slate and ever so quietly move Tommy Boy to the Baggett Division or wherever. Somewhere he can't do any damage. So if Rampart doesn't get the broker bridge and pull off his plan, his dad's gonna hang the clusterfuck on his son to protect the company. <laughs> Is this joy I'm feeling? See, you can make money and make the world a better place. Hit me up if you want to run any more fixer gigs. Take it easy, Wrench. Ugh, Jordy, I'm looking at the leaderboard here. This Rad's crony must be loaded up with all kinds of crazy tech. There's no way he could have gotten these times without cheating. Well, 
You still think this will be an easy clap? Oh, it needs to be. There's no way I'm letting Mr. Big Corporation win. Man, I was almost expecting a crowd. Running through a race course alone doesn't have the same hype. Imagine the chaos if the contestants ran the course together. I don't think Space Bull Power Drink wants people dying on their watch. Right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get that dub. Nice one. I've got to be the best pirate you've ever seen. So it would seem. Almost there. Stay sharp. You still have two more courses. So, I heard you're trying to beat my time. Well, I can promise you won't win with your shoddy tech. Actually, I will win with my tech. And unlike you, you little corporate sellout, I don't need to cheat. Uh, Wrench? Isn't that car-stopping hack kind of like cheating? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut up, Jordy. You can't let this guy win. You need to pick up the pace. I know, I know. I hope you're ready for this drone course. Won't be easy. Well, Rads isn't the only one with tricks up their sleeves. You'll never beat me in this drone race. My time was flawless. Good fucking luck, nerd. Thanks, but I don't need your luck. You don't need luck, but you needed to overclock your drone. That seems a lot like cheating, Wrench. Shut up, Jordy. And anyway, this fucker cheated, so doesn't that make this more fair? This is the home stretch. Keep it up. Don't fail me now, little drone. There it is. That's the finish line. You can make it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Looks like someone's gonna get in trouble with Daddy Rads. Oh, shitting hell. Nice one, man. Another contract fulfilled. Fuck yes. And it was an easy one, too. Was it easy? You had to cheat to win. Yes, it was easy. And anyway, it was just a minor rule bending. I had no choice, okay? <laughs> well, now your name will be in the ultimate extreme mega insanity elite hackathon hall of fame. Congratulations. Yes, free space bowl power drinks for life. I don't see the car. Wait, is that good or bad? You're definitely near a cloaking field. Look for a kind of shimmering blurry space. Like, when you get a migraine. Oh, I've never had one of those. Really? Try talking to you sometime. Found the ghost car! Except it doesn't have wheels, doors, a back seat, or an engine. Huh. Must be made out of the same material as the car. An early prototype, maybe? Or another tormented spirit haunting the streets of London. Ooh. The only one being tormented here is me. Get to the next location. So, who's the buyer? Not telling. Fuck off. Not even a hint? They're paying for their anonymity wrench. Oh, that explains why they want an invisible car. The ghost hunters of London are on the scene. Legend is, a car was brutally murdered here 20 years ago to the day. That's the lore? It's the ghost of a car? Spirit! If you can hear me, rev your engine! Huh. It's a lot closer to the EM field we're looking for. But the shape is... off. Oh, come on, you can say it, Jordy. It's a ghost toilet. It's another prototype is what it is. Makes sense, this is experimental tech after all. Hey, would you mind muting me for a sec? I need to void my ghost bladder. So when you say experimental tech, who exactly has been doing the experimenting? You don't need to know, and I don't want to tell you. Oh, come on, man. It could help me find the ghost car. Oh, yeah? The Ouija board's not doing it for you? Mm, yeah. It's escaping! Come back, ghost car! Don't go into the light! Stop doing the fucking ghost car bed and start chasing the car. Christ! Eyes on the road, wrench. It's getting away. Damn it. Lost my connection. It ghosted us! Damn it! Did you get it? Because it's it's a ghost. <laughs> oh my god, shut up. I got a cleaner beat on the signal now. I think I know where it's hiding. Don't you mean where it's haunting? <laughs> Go get the fucking car! 
Gotcha! All right, get in the car before it drives off again. I'm in. Does my voice sound invisible right now? You know what? I know you want me to ask you what invisible sounds like, and I'm not gonna fucking do it. Radio when you're at the drop point. Okay, well, can I just say, I love this feisty, will they, won't they dynamic we have going on. It's just the... Hello? Jordy? 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 Jordy, 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 Jordy! What? What? I was just wondering what you're gonna do with the ghost car. Oh my god. None of your goddamn business. Okay, because I've got a really weird idea. Oh, and if you're wondering if it's a sex thing, no, Jordy, okay? Way weirder. I'm literally this close to putting out a hit on you. Well, we solved the mystery of the ghost car. And we did it together. Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to spend the rest of the day firing an assault rifle and screaming. So this is where our lucky killer Cylon is being housed. I guess these suckers are everywhere now. Let's do this. The bot is connected to an access point on a nearby roof. I hope you didn't leave your toys at home, big boy. Drone job. Got it. You know, we never actually discussed any plan or strategy or anything for this. Just saying. Just connect to the bot, deliver to the pickup location I'll send you. I'll supply the getaway drone. Don't let me down now. Yeah, by my command. Hey, screwdriver, how's the robot handle? Oh, she's fine. She? And then? What? Can I help you with something? I'm a little busy here. Easy, Tiger. Getaway drone's on its way. From there, you'll deliver the robot to the fixers. They're standing by to get their new test subject. Disregard my actions. I am an ordinary robot. Disregard my actions. I am an ordinary robot. Okay, Jordy. I'm here. Yep, I can see you. Just get the robot under the drone, and I'll pick it up. I am bugging out. This is a bug. Rest mode activated. Good girl. Anyone tries to shoot down that drone, I'll shoot him down first. By your command. Don't get too attached, crowbar. I got fixers at the drop-off site waiting to take this thing apart. Yeah, about that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take the robot to the safe house and keep her for myself. Cool, cool, cool. You're stealing the robot? Are you fucking kidding me? I know, but here's the thing, okay? I can't stand by and let her be dissected like a frog in biology class. I can't let that happen to Wrench Alina. Wrench Alina. Oh, shut up. I'm so I'm gonna kill you first. Uh, can we put a pin in that? I'm trying to save Rachel. I think I preferred Brenchelina. My 
fixer contact has accepted your proposal. Get us the data we're after, and you can keep Renchelina or whatever you're calling that fucking thing. Thanks, Jordy. You're a real mensch. And as a token of my gratitude, I have decided on the name for this little lady. No. In honor of you, Jordy Chin, I hereby name this robot Little Jordy. You know, I really don't like you. All right, Ratchet, here's the job. It's wrench, wrench. You're doing this on purpose to antagonize me. Wait a minute. Are you flirting with me, Jordy? Gonna ignore that. Job is simple, so even you'll find it hard to screw up. Client wants you to steal a car. I'm sending you the coordinates. Ugh, pass. That's boring. Sorry, Mike Ranch, but the client specifically asked for you. And, oh yeah, they, uh, they're gonna tag along on the job, too. What? Uh... <laughs> I'm not some glorified babysitter. Uh, they paid a ludicrous amount of crypto to ensure that today you are, so get to it. Wait, who's asking for me? Is it a trap? Jordy? Jordy! <laughs> <laughs>